The state remains in phase four of Governor Whitmer's coronavirus safe start reopening plan. That means high school football stadiums will be pretty bare once games begin, as each participant is only allowed to bring in two spectators inside the gates. Within the defined boundaries of the stadium is where those attendance limits uh, will prevail. That's MHSAA spokesperson John Johnson. He tells me while there's a limited number of people allowed inside the gates, outside stadium boundaries, there is no rule on how many people can gather. You can't do anything if the fence line would allow people to, um, to watch. If you've got this big hill and it's unregulated and people stand up there, there's not a thing the school can do about it. Harbor Beach Athletic Director and Head Coach Troy Schelke tells me it'll mean more people will be able to watch games up close but the view outside their stadium isn't the best. Our facility, uh, there's some houses uh, on one side that are kind of far away and then some fencing on the other. And I'm sure people will gather there. And we just want those people to be socially distanced and uh, be as safe as possible too. Since many people won't be able to physically be at games, Shelke says Harbor Beach is installing cameras inside the stadium so that games can be streamed live online and fans can watch at home. This is the next best thing, and so we have the camera in. We just have to make sure it's uh, it's set up right and uh, measures up with the field, and we, sh we should be ready to go that uh, that first week against Dublin. Shelke tells me it obviously won't be the same playing in front of a stadium that doesn't have many fans in it, but it beats the alternative of no fans or no games. Reporting for WNEM-TV5, I'm Jason Fielder.